have now approved a deal on key issues in the governor's state budget. When much of Wisconsin went to bed last night, lawmakers at the Capitol still had several issues to comb through before voting on the budget. Talks went into early Wednesday, and around 1.30 this morning, Republicans can reconvened with a deal. And the vote just came down a few minutes ago. News 3's Mary Jo Ola is live at the Capitol with more on what they came up with. Mary Jo? Yeah, Charlotte Joint Finance Committee just voted minutes ago, 12 to 4, to pass that Republican deal that came down early Thursday morning. Now, that deal that they came up with would nearly double Governor Walker's proposed income tax cut from $343 million to $650 million over the next two years. Now, that would cut taxes on all brackets, not just the lower three that was originally planned. It also would give private school vouchers uh, an expansion and go statewide on a limited basis. Now Republicans pushed the vote back despite these objections from the Democrats, in which obviously it came down early this morning. We did catch up with uh, Democrat Representative Corey Mason from the Racine District, and his response to the vote was that, you know, obviously not completely happy and believed that the tax breaks and the deal kind of came on the backs of the middle class. The deal now goes to the Assembly and the Senate, where it also has to pass, but in the end, the budget needs to be signed by the governor by June 30th. All right, Mary Jo, thank you very much.